Okay, y'all, I'm back. Hello. Last night I had got on here and I was talking about um I was talking about me prepping my hair for my um for my braids today. And so yesterday I just did a deep condition wash and deep condition and did it in two strand twists and let it air dry overnight. And um I think today I'm just gonna do me some some braids. I was going to do Senegalese twists, but the braids seem like they, they, they take, they, um, I'm braiding faster now, so I decided to do, um, the braids instead, and I'm going to show y'all the hair that I'm using. This is the hair that I'm using, it's Bobby Boss Holiday Magic Jumbo Braid in a 1B. And I've been braiding for a little while, and so that's the brand that I've been using, that I like to use when I braid my hair. And when I braid other people's hair, too. But, um, this is the the hair. This is half a pack right here. Um, because I've already started, but this is on um, a half a pack, and I did the feathering technique. So your um, ends won't be so blunt looking. And this is what your ends will look like when you do the feathering technique. And then I'm going to show y'all trying to see where I'm at. I had started back here but then I changed my mind. I said I better come up a little bit further. And um, I'm trying to see because I can't see. As y'all can see, my hair is really curly. And that's one thing I don't like about my hair because it is curly. Okay. And I'm using um, Shine and Jam Control um, Conditioning Gel Extra Hold. It's good for natural hair. So I'm going to use this on my edge, like on my root. I put it on my root so I can grab my root when I get ready to braid. And I'll start braiding. And I put some on the ends of my hair. So I can smooth the hair out a little bit. Get the kinks out. And I take it and then I, I, I feather it some more, I pull it some more, pull off the excess. Whew. Um, it takes a little while because I got a lot of hair. I don't know, it might take me two or three days. It might take me two or three days to finish. But I'm trying to get as much finished today as I can. Mm. 
But I decided to go ahead on and I started kind of late. I tried to start early this morning, but I couldn't start early. I had to do a couple of things and I got behind, so. It's a job um, breaking your own hair, y'all. But it does save money. I haven't had any individual braids in, um, I want to say since 2011, I think. Not braids. Now, I've done Senegalese twists. And the last time I did those were um, about two years ago. Senegalese twist, but I haven't had any box braids in about five or six years. Is there anybody else up here watching that does their own braids? Okay. And the only reason I do my own braids is because I'm very tender-headed and I just, um, I'm very tender-headed and I don't like for, um, people to tug and pull all on my hair and my edges and stuff like that. So, I just do my own. Does anybody do the slip knot method? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I just, I just felt like it would be, you know, um, better to braid my own hair because it cuts back. I just don't, um, those, the, the African shops, I just can't, I'm sorry. I don't see too many people go to the African shops and they just take all the hair out. All the edges be gone when they get ready to take the braids out. Yeah, for the most part it is healthy. Yeah, that's another reason why. Because I don't go to, I don't go to shops. I don't go to shops and stuff and get my hair braided. But the only thing about um, doing your own braids is I don't, um, I can't do cornrows and, I can't do cornrows and um, feed in braids and goddess braids, um, stuff like that. But I can do um, individuals. I do, um, individuals, box braids, uh, poetic justice braids, and kinky twists, and Senegalese twists. I was going to do the, it is too much, it is too much, but 
I, I just, uh-uh. I just rather do my own hair. At least whatever happens to it. Whatever, you know, whatever happens to it. I can say that I did it. I don't have to blame it on nobody else. Yeah, you do save a lot of money. Because I tell you, going to them after shops, they charge like 180 200 for braids. And then by my hair being real long, they probably charge me about $300 just for some braids. I can't do it. I've been braiding my own hair since, um, I want to say 2010. But I still consider myself as an amateur because I don't braid a lot. So I'm still kind of learning. Because I want to learn how to do different other different styles, braiding styles. Especially um, goddess braids and I want to learn how to do um, feed ins and stuff like that. Yeah, it is a car note. Sure is. I can't afford to pay no three hundred dollars on the braids. I sure can't. I can't afford it. But you know what happens. They do a good job as far as braiding, but I just see a lot of people go to them and. When they get ready to um when they get ready to um take the braids out, they ain't got no edges. They be done took all the edges out. Cause they braid so um they braid so tight. Yeah, I go on YouTube too. I got to learn, I just got to get back on my game and practice. Get back on my game and practice because that's how I learned how to do everything else. Watching YouTube. I weren't going to do any breaks, but I see I can do them faster. I was going to do some Senegalese twists, but I was going to twist them in because I didn't want to braid them in, and then I was having problems. So I said, forget it, I just braid it. So what kind of braids do y'all know how to do? I'm going to get up and let y'all see them in a minute. The ones I've already done. I give props to girls that, um, how you doing? I give props to girls that know how to do their own, like, feed-ins and, um, goddess braids. Because those are some hard braids to do.
all that. Sometimes it takes me days to do it. Sometimes it takes me days to do my own hair, y'all, because my hair is so long. Then I be taking breaks and all that kind of stuff. But I'm just trying to get the I just want to get the edges done. So I get the edges done. I feel all right. Yeah, I know. Sometimes it, it takes a lot of patience. It really does. But I just got, you know, kind of tired of paying people to braid my hair. I said, I'll have to, I'll just learn how to do it myself. And then I started saving some money. I say, if you got patience to sit in somebody else's chair to get your hair done, you got patience to do your own. Because it takes a while. Um, I look in the mirror. I look in the mirror to part. Let me let y'all see what I've done so far. The back is hard to part, it is hard to part, but you just feel your way through. That's what I do. I just feel my way through. I just feel my way through. But this is what they look like so far, y'all. And I did a slip knot. I don't know how, I might have to figure out another way to do the slip knot, but this is how they look so far. But one day I just got fed up. Um, that's why how I ended up learning how to braid my own hair because I got fed up with um, I got fed up with paying somebody to do it, and then I had always wanted to style this style. I had always wanted some Senegalese twists, but I didn't want. I wasn't gonna pay nobody no three hundred dollars to do my hair, so I just kept looking at YouTube videos and. I just kept looking at the YouTube videos, and so that's why I ended up um, 
And that's how I ended up raiding my own. Because I wanted some so bad. Yeah, but I went back to pay $300 for them. And I was like, okay, well, I'm not going to pay $300. So I'm going to learn how to do them. And so that's what I ended up doing. I don't like crochet braid. Well, I don't like the twist crochets or the box braid crochets. I don't like them on myself, but I probably would try to do like um like a crochet bob with straight hair. Something like that. But I just don't um I don't like the twist or the the box braids. I guess because I don't like the way the hair I don't like the way the hair feel. Yeah, I don't like the way the hair feels, so. But they're real inexpensive to do, too. I mean, um, you can buy them, like, get. I, 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 if I was to, if I was really into crochet braids, I probably would get that uh, Kima Ocean Wave hair. Because that is some pretty hair to me. That is some gorgeous hair to use for crochets. Yeah, this is exactly why I'm doing these braids because I needed a protective style and I got tired of, um, you know, dealing with my hair, so I said I was just going to go ahead on and um, braid it up because I don't know if I'm going to the beach anytime soon or what. So, I, and I wanted my ends to be protected. Yeah, I do other people's hair too. Sorry, y'all. I had to start this one over, I think. Yeah, can't just do a video and not say nothing. You got to talk. Oh, yeah. Well, you got to talk. You got to be able to talk. Yeah. 
That's the whole point of doing a live video. So you can talk to people. I don't know how long I'm going to wear these braids, but um, I'm going to end up, when I do take them out, I'm going to do a really good deep condition wash, clarify wash, deep condition, and I'll do my two strand twist again, so I can do my twist out. But this is just a good way to protect your hair. Um, Hold on for a minute, I'll show you the pack. Let me do this braid right quick and I'll show you the pack. But this is one way to protect your ends, to keep them protected from the chlorine. I'm doing um just regular um box braids. And thank you for watching from Las Vegas. I'm getting ready to show the pack of um, the brand of hair that I'm using. Hold on, let me do the spray, and then I'm going to show y'all the pack that I'm using. I live in North Carolina. Okay, y'all. Here's the kind of hair that I'm using. Bobby Ball's Holiday Magic Jumbo Braid in 1B. Does anybody have any questions or anything they want to ask? And I'm using, um, oh, okay. This is the, um, gel that I'm using. Okay, y'all. I, oh, okay. Well, um, I just wanted to show y'all these braids. Let me show y'all one more time before I go. It is. It's all right in North Carolina. It is. But here they go. Yes, I love um Bobby Boss. Bobby Boss to me is the best braiding hair that's out besides um expressions. But Bobby Boss is is the I love Bobby Boss hair. They do pretty box braids, they do um pretty pixie braids. I just love um Bobby Boss. But um 
I might come up here again, y'all, later. Depends on how far I got. But I might come back up here later and show y'all how far I've gotten. Um, anybody else have any questions or anything they want to ask before I get off? Alrighty, anybody don't have any questions? I hope everybody has a good day and God bless.